suited for cooperation in keeping this site safe. these cool stuff. Oh, yeah. towels. This is cool. Is this our level? Yeah. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Break the seal. Good help if I did it right. We're in Omaha. We're in Omaha. <laughs> Excitement is exuding from both of us. We hopped on a flight. This has been my first flight taken since COVID. The last time that I flew somewhere was to check out um, San Antonio, and I can leave that linked down below if you're curious about that travel vlog. Hey, Diana. Hmm. What the heck's in Omaha? <laughs> Nebraska's in no Omaha, which is a <laughs> Yeah, it is. Nomaha. We're here to check out just because we haven't been to Nebraska and we had an opening to just go. <laughs> so we were gonna check out a raccoon cafe, but that's a little bit up north and it's also, you just kind of eat and watch raccoons like a zoo. But we're gonna actually go to another zoo tomorrow. We have some, we have a cool market district to check out as well as some um, like a zoo and gardens and it should be really nice. Omaha's a lot bigger than I was expecting just driving in and there's a whole bunch of buffalo statues outside that I am far too- We're gonna ride them. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're both, <laughs> we're more excited about these statues than we should be rightfully so. <laughs> So we're gonna eat up our free cookies and then go get lunch. Brittany has scouted out some good restaurants for us as usual. And so that's our next thing is to get lunch. Oh, I've been trying. <laughs> Please do not ride, suck, or stroke this cock. To be what you want me to give me something. Going to a tiki bar seems like the most un Amaho thing. Amaho, oh my god. Uh, Omaha thing to do. Hell yeah, just like we're at home. <laughs> we have like the whole bar to ourselves and all the swing chairs to ourselves. <laughs> oh my god, this is fantastic. Definitely in the top three for favorite tiki bars. And as Brittany said, her favorite tiki bar because she normally doesn't like them. <laughs> 10 out of 10 gold <laughs> So I got my cocktail. It's vodka, coconut, and macadamia. Brittany got a painkiller. Mm -hmm. Which I think is like a, I've seen that at other places, right? It's like a standard drink. What's in it? It's pineapple juice, rum, of the spice variety, nutmeg, and then orange, and that's it. Nice. Cute. <laughs> Oh, 
we're back at the hotel. We just walked around Old Market, which was like a whole bunch of shops. It looked like a really cool area when it would be like open and popping, lots of really cute restaurants. There was a tobacco store. I can't remember the last time I saw like a tobacco store. We didn't go in it, but we just walked by it. Um, we went to a tiki bar, which was delicious and cute. The burger place that we were gonna get food at was Alton Brown's favorite burger in all of the US, but they were only doing takeout and I am personally in the mood to for like sh actually sit down. So Brittany is scouring the internet trying to find our dinner place because boy am I hungry. I got a vanilla light beer, very good. And we also got all of the greasy food for dinner. <laughs> I feel like I'm home. <laughs> Round one of everything delicious, fried pickles and cheese curd. Where are we going? We are going to Benson Brewery. Supposedly this is the Poppin' Park town, which is concerning. <laughs> Got some fruity stuff. Brittany got a passion fruit one, and I got blueberry, which hopefully should be spectacular. Cheers! Cheers indeed. <laughs> My finger. <laughs> So I got a peach cocktail. Brittany got a shandy. I'm gonna try hers. Fresh from the top. All right. Ooh. We have had a full night of going out. It's actually like 2.30. We shut down the bars. So we went to, what, like seven? Two different neighborhoods. We went to Benson, which was from what we kind of gathered online, or rather what Brittany gathered online, was the like hopping party place, which is about, it was a 15 minute drive from downtown Omaha. We checked it out and we went to a couple bars. We went to a barcade and had two not very good gooses. Gosses. Gosses. I call them grouses and they're not <laughs> gooses. <laughs> not, not very good gooses. And they also, it's always nice when a barcade has like free play, but this was like, you know, coin operated and pretty walks in. She's like, don't we know, don't they know we're in a coin shortage? <laughs> We went to a brewery and that was pretty good as well and a rooftop bar, which was probably my favorite out of the ones that we checked out there. I feel like I'm missing some, but you guys probably saw it. And then we came back to our neck of the woods to Old Market and downtown and we checked out two like fancier bars. We went to Barry and Iyer? Barry and Rye? Barry and Rye. And um, there was a mix up with the staff, so we wound up like sitting for like 10 or 15 minutes and then the, um, he must have been like, Mm -hmm. an owner or a manager or something. He actually gave us a free cocktail or a free like mixed drink and it was like delicious as well as our two really fancy drinks that were super nice. But yeah, that uh, that um, aperitif, is that the correct usage of it? An aperitif? So. That aperitif was delicious. Hadn't had anything like that in a while and the, or ever. And then we went and checked out White Rabbit, which is a speakeasy. It's probably like the most speakeasy speakeasy I've ever been to. So you have to know the secret and how to get into it. So I will leave that up to you if you guys come to Omaha, but I would definitely check it out. It was 
the coolest speakeasy and we had delicious cocktails as well. So my favorite bar of the night would be, yeah, the rooftop bar 1912 in Benson and then the two more fancier bars in Old uh, Market, in Old Market. I would have to agree that, well, okay. I loved the atmosphere of the rooftop bar and the crowd and the music. However, Beercade won my heart because A, great movies playing. Oh, I forgot about the- I was just drawn, sucked in. Nothing else existed except for this Dolls movie. Mm -hmm. And then two, Hydro Thunder, <laughs> my favorite arcade game, which hands down, had I had coins, would play. But like you said, like in Seattle, thankfully we are blessed with uh, barcades that have free games when you go and get- And that's a toothbrush, by the way, not anything nasty. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> it's just an old white bed and then there's just a stick. What do you think? It <laughs> and that's a like- We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> So glum. Keeping it simple on my end, keeping it millennial on Brittany's end. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is my nightmare. This is what Utah's gonna be like. <laughs> Do you think they're happy? Hard to tell. I think out of all the creatures here that could be thriving, I feel like they have a decent setup. Scary. Oh my, oh my god, look at those hands. I would cry if I saw that in the wild. <laughs> like, we were in the desert and we heard that whistle and that's what we found. I would cry. <laughs> in horror, to clarify. It's fine, Brittany. <laughs> you can just see the snow leopard's tail. Typical snow leopard. Typical snow leopard. <laughs> Oh! 
we just did finish our big exploration of the zoo. This apparently is like one of the best zoos like in the country, in the world. Is that what you heard? In the country. Mm -hmm. In the country. And they have, the first thing that we checked out was that giant, like the world's largest indoor dome, uh, indoor desert, which was pretty cool. But it's a huge zoo. I think my my pedometer said I think we we walked yeah over like almost eight miles and we walked to breakfast so yeah like five or six miles today we were here for about two and a half hours which was good to check out a lot of stuff but some of the stuff was closed so I would probably say my favorite was the jellyfish all the different jellyfishes and yeah the the not the javelinas but the other pigs the what are they called? The Perry? Perry something? I think it's with a P. Yeah, the cute little piggy nap. What was your favorite? The jellyfish were pretty cool. Yeah. Considering I don't like jellyfish. Yeah. So we're now just waiting for our Uber and then we're gonna catch a shuttle, hopefully to the airplane, to the airport, and then fly back to Seattle. To smoky, smoky Seattle. Straight to the airplane because they're rock stars. Oh, that'd be hella on our private jet. Mm. Please. Not very eco-friendly.